Okay, so in this video we're going to look at polygon reduction and why we have this kind of wacky workflow going on. So first off, I like to start out by finishing up this window in the back. Okay, And I'm going to see if this window gets affected by any of the other windows just by kind of looking like this. No, if I hit tab, I have this nice beveled edge. So therefore, that is telling me that I could take the faces here and extrude those back. Okay, and then I know if I hit tab, it's going to collapse. If I hit control R and insert an edge loop here and here, it will not collapse in on itself and it will look nice. Okay. Now I only need it to look nice on the right hand side, the left hand side I really don't care about because I'm going to end up mirroring this entire thing. The point here is, look how nice the bevel is. Now if I tried to model that by hand, um, I would have a hard time. Okay, So I'm going to be using a polygon reduction trick to keep the overall smoothness of this, but less polys here coming up. But first I want to show you some things about extraordinary vertices. Here is a problem. Okay, these are extraordinary vertices that are crawling outside the food chain. Okay, what I want to do is limit those to something a little bit more manageable. And if I hit tab, you can see the polygon structure is so much better now. I'm going to do that everywhere on the model. It's going to take me a little bit to kind of look at these extraordinary vertices and keep them in check. In this case, yeah, I got one right here that's crawling outside the food chain quite a bit. Now, look how much better the flow of polygons are. The topology is so much better around the object. Let's look at the front. Whoa, extraordinary problem right here. Okay. Control R to tame the beast. Tab to kind of look at it. Much better flow, but I'm going to need a lot of edge loops in this area to maintain that flow. And here's what I want you to concentrate on. It's not the exact placement of these and following me verbatim. I'd rather have you learn the fact that why I'm putting these in and how it looks afterwards. So here, extraordinary vertice crawling outside. Don't like that? Control R, put it edge loop in this area, tab, better, better topology. Is it? Now, there's a point where you can get too wrapped up in topology. I would say sometime right around here would be the one being as OCD as I am, I'm going to put that stuff right there. Just like that. Perfect. See, topology is better. Well, here's the problem. Whoops, not that me scaling this weirdly. But I got a lot of polygons. And how can I get rid of some of these polygons and still keep and maintain this form? Well, that's very easy. It does take a while, but it is very easy. And here's how you do it. Duplicate the original. Pull it off to the side so you can concentrate on it and not the orthographic views. Apply the modifier. Now I can keep my beveled edges and work on getting rid of some extra edges. So now I'm going to teach you which ones to get rid of and which ones not to get rid of. So edges. Let's go into edit mode. Choose edges. And you're going to be using shift and alt a lot. Alright, so let me highlight an edge. 
with shift and alt. Notice it goes all the way around the model. Okay, this one is good to get rid of. This one does not go all the way around the model, therefore you cannot get rid of it. It is attached to the overall form. So by getting rid of it, you can either A, screw it up by inserting triangles in the area, or B, it just looks like junk. This one, all the way around, that's good to go. So let's start getting rid of some of these that I do not need. X on the keyboard, edge loop. So I want to keep this overall nice flow going, but not with so many polygons. And this is a great way to kind of tone back good versus bad. And again, it seems wacky at first to insert all these crazy edge loops and then get rid of them, but it pays off. Because those three right there, those three edges, did nothing for the form whatsoever. This form stayed the same from point to point, from here to here. But now I got these nice beveled edges in there. Okay, let's look for edge loops we can get rid of. So from point to point here, I could say that edge loop is redundant. Sometimes it doesn't get rid of it because you've accidentally highlighted another edge somewhere. In this case, I am going to keep the meridian line of the character. So right here is a meridian line that travels right down the center of the character. Or X-Wing. Okay, from point to point, I would say this one can go away. Those could go away. So first off, I, I concentrate on the bigger ones and then concentrate on those little tiny window ones, which are kind of annoying to get rid of. Can you do more than once? No, not in Blender. Blender does not allow you to get rid of multiple edges at once. I'm sure somebody has developed a script for this by now, but I have not found it. So until then, there we go. It's manually all the way. Now I concentrate on these windows. Okay, I want to keep the beveled stuff, but I want to get rid of that one. Good. Okay, so those are the, the big, huge ones that I need to get rid of, well, except for the nose cone. So. so here's an extraordinary vertice problem that I should have solved earlier, but that's all right. Okay, I'm going to keep that one in there. Okay, now miners. Okay, the miners work like this. Zoom in. And depending on how much bevel you want, or how smooth the bevel that you want, 
so here's my point to point point to point so here I can get rid of that one and that'll give me a few less and this is all upon how much bevel or how smooth the bevel you want Okay, there, that one I can get rid of. That one I can't get rid of, nor that one. That one I can. This one does nothing for the form. So, wow, I just reduced so many polygons. That one's fine. Again, me telling you which ones to get rid of and you following along perfectly for this isn't teaching you anything. You must learn why I'm getting rid of these and which ones to get rid of. So please pay attention to you know the, the formula. If it goes all the way around, good to get rid of. If it doesn't change the form, good to get rid of. If it takes away from the form, bad. Do not want to get rid of those. All right, so there we go. I've cleaned up the mesh quite a bit. Uh, this video is getting kind of long, so let's move on to the next video.